now I'll discuss about the wrist joint. Wrist joint is also known as radiocarpal joint. In this diagram, you can see this is the radius movement. This is the radius. This is ulna. Here is articular surface of radius. And here is articular disc. This is articular disc. This is superior articular surface of this joint, which is formed by inferior surface of the inferior surface of lower end of the radius and inferior surface of the articular disc. This is proximal articular surface. Distal articular surface is formed by these carpal bones. These are scaphoid, lunate, tricuspid. So these bones form the distal articular surface. This surface, that is proximal surface of these bones, form the distal articular surface. Type of the joint is synovial and its variety is ellipsoid. Its variety is ellipsoid. These are articular surfaces. And capsule of the joint is attached to the margin of this articular substance like this. So this is joint cavity. This is capsule of this joint. This is fibrous capsule. This fibrous capsule is reinforced anteriorly by Palmer radiocarpal ligament. So this is capsular ligament and capsule. It is reinforced by here. This is Palmer radiocarpal ligament. This is Palmer radiocarpal ligament. Present on anterior aspect. Same way, on the posterior aspect, there is dorsal radiocarpal ligament. So that is dorsal radiocarpal ligament on posterior side. On the lateral side, here, this is radial collateral ligament, and on medial side, there is ulnar collateral ligament. This is ulnar collateral collateral ligament of radiocarpal joint. Here is radial collateral ligament of radiocarpal joint. So this capsule is reinforced anteriorly by palmar radiocarpal ligament, posteriorly by dorsal radiocarpal ligament, laterally by radial collateral ligament of radiocarpal joint, medially by ulnar collateral ligament of radiocarpal joint. Internally it is by, lined by this joint capsule is internally lined by synovial membrane. Nerve supply of this joint is anteriorly by an anterior introsseous nerve, posteriorly by posterior introsseous nerve. Action up, action at this joint, there is a movement at this joint is flexion, flexion, extension, adduction, and abduction. In case of flexion, the muscle, mainly muscles are involved. These are flexor carpi ulnaris, flexor carpi radialis, and palmaris longus. And extensor side, 
extensor is extensor carpi alnearis and extensor carpi radialis longus brevis. So these are extensor. Adductors are muscle flexor carpi ulnaris and extensor carpi ulnaris. These are adductors. Both poles here. Adductor. Abductors. Abductor are the abductor. Pulses longus and extensor pulses longus and extensor pulses brevis. So these are abductors. So this is all about the radiocarpal joint. Thank you.